Very hearty greetings to you all at the World Freedom Alliance in Hungary. Thank you for your patience. Sorry I couldn't be there in person. I'm very happy uh, to be able to address you for a few minutes nonetheless. And what I want to speak to you about is uh, the relationship that you have with the status quo. Because really, if we're all gathered in conferences and conventions and symposia to discuss the horror of uh, the establishment and about public health administration and about governments and the Catholic Church and all the evils of the world, really, friends, we could be doing this for a thousand years uh, until or unless we bring it back to the source code, which is your relationship with the status quo, your relationship with so-called reality. And let's face it, there is no such thing as reality. Reality is not a fixed thing. It's a quantum phenomenon. Um, there are you know, billions of souls on the face of the earth. Each one of them is seeing uh, this uh, reality framework from a completely individual and different uh, perspective. Some people in this time of great tribulation and covidiacy some people are finding that it's manifesting into hell on earth, which of course it is to a great many people. But to others, conversely, it is uh, an ascension spiral. It is a, uh, a step toward enlightenment. And we are able to see through the um, valley of death and all of the, 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 the black filters that uh, reality is throwing at us. So look, consider your relationship with the status quo. And by that, what I mean is, to what degree or extent are you responsible for the status quo, whether it's in Hungary or Scandinavia or in Australasia or in Central America, where I am right now? Either which way, it is the compliance of good but rather stupid humans, generally speaking, that manifests as the status quo. We've always had priest bankers operating from behind the curtain. God knows these fuckers will be there in a thousand years if we, if we don't wake up from this dream spell ourselves. So let's not blame the priest banker. Let's not blame the government and the troglodytes and the bureaucrats and technocrats and morons in wearing badges and Masonic aprons. Let's not concern ourselves too much with the functionaries of the kingdom of the devil because they are in the main mindless uh, buffoons. Consider only your relationship with the status quo, especially if we're talking about World Freedom Alliance or World Freedom Anything. We need to unpeg ourselves, unhook ourselves from the status quo by no longer complying with anything that moves against our conscience, against our God-given conscience. So it is really your conscience and your reason that is the determining factor as to whether or not you experience heaven or hell. Your conscience is your best friend. It may sometimes invite you to do the harder thing and to tread the path less uh, tread. That's, that's, get, that's, that's the old hero's story. But the fact of the matter is that you must never do anything that moves against your conscience, much uh, less do things like uh, wear muzzles or surrender your health sovereignty to satanic public health administrators pumping chemical poisons into your veins and ensuring early death syndrome. Also consider, if you will, and this is my second uh, peace that I offer today. Your relationship between yourself and technology and yourself and nature. To what extent do you surrender your life force, your time and motion, your plasma, your God-given Christed attention? How much of that do you purpose toward technology every day? Ask yourself the question. How many hours are you spending on trains, planes, and automobiles? How many hours of the day are you opening the fridge or opening up the, you know, whatever the unit is? How many hours of the day are you 
scanning Instagram or Facebook? How many hours of the day are you staring at screens, digitized screens, which artificialize your relationship with the natural world? Versus how much time in the day do you purpose toward putting your feet on the sacred soil, sitting under a tree, putting your feet into water, throwing stones and skimming stones on, on a lake, studying cloud formations, talking to the birds, riding a horse, truly communicating with your cats and dogs, and more than that, relationship with one another. How much time are you truly putting into that, to communication, into embracing, into touching and feeling and loving and being loved by return? So the relationship between nature, which is to say between you and you and you and family and you and kin and friends and loved ones and then nature by extension and the creatures of the world, that becomes the seminal piece here versus the ridiculous amount of time that you and I are spending every day immersing ourselves into satanic AI algorithms and technology, time-coded 1260 bullshit. That's the question I'm asking you to ask because there is no freedom until we address that piece. There is no alliance of anything until we address that piece. And there is no world worth living in until we address that piece. So technology in that sense becomes uh, a representative of the demonic realms and obviously nature by contrast is representative of the of the, an, the celestine the angelic so why are we even oscillating between the angelic and the demonic between technology and nature between government and freedom why are we even having the debate why are we even having conventions to discuss how insane things are and how we must strike out at the status quo why are we even engaging the conversation? There shouldn't even be a conversation. We should have already withdrawn our attention and our tax dollars and our person, our blood, our bones. We should have taken our bodies and our children out of that satanic matrix already. We should have already done the work and withdrawn from the contracts and the covenants and the agreements and the, the, the stealth agreements that are tied up in compliances and regulations and uh, certifications and uh, ordinances and all that bullshit. What is it that we're afraid of? Why are we unable to simply follow the dictate of conscience and of reason? That becomes the only question that we should be asking ourselves today, in my view. Because until we address that, if indeed we are filled with fear reflexivity and we feel that we must always follow the dictates of the government, we must do what we're told, we must listen to the predictive programming on the television screens, and we must do as we're told and present ourselves onto the checkerboard of the kingdom of the devil in order to be harvested from birth till death. Does that feel righteous? Does that feel judicious? Does that feel joyful? Well, no, it doesn't. The only time we're joyful is when we break away from that fucking insane harvest wheel and go off for some ludicrous two-week break in Andalusia or wherever and put our feet in the ocean and walk on a beach and forget our time, money, fear problems for a short period of time. And believe me, those little holidays are only allowed, uh, only granted to you by the parent corporation because they don't want you to keel over and die of misery and of slavery. So little holidays are breaks that are written into the business model. For the love of God, change your lives. Change the entire parameter of your lives. Get your babies out of Babylon, friends. Men, take your women by the hand. Put your arm around her waist. Lead her away from Sodom and Gomorrah. Sell up your shackles. Sell up your home in the matrix, in the city grid. Stop allowing the poisons to infiltrate the cells of your families. Just cease and desist. Consciousness in action is what emerges 
once we withdraw our attention from compliance, when we withdraw our attention from media, propaganda, all of the mind fuckery that comes with digital screens, when we remove our indentureship from a satanic status quo, perfectly exemplified by government. Your relationship with your government defines death spiral mechanics, as I refer to it. Death and entropy, disease, decay, the rot in the soul, in the heart, in the mind, in the body, in the physicality of our material world, all comes about because of the consensual will of unconscious human beings allowing themselves to be harvested into that egregore, into that lower elemental demonic intelligence, which feeds back as a perfect universal feedback loop into the status quo, becoming bureaucracy and technocracy and religiosity and, and uh, uh, deception and propaganda, lies, theft, usury, all of the devilish witchery of our age is visited upon us precisely because we comply and we fail to remove consciously our indentureship from that status quo. I will leave my little rant at that and just hope that it made some sense to some of you. Again, I will repeat in my sign-off, there is no freedom, there is no alliance, there is no world unless or until we address our relationship with the status quo, with technology versus nature, with ourselves. I'll leave it at that. Much love to you and salutations.